My name is Marnie, and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. I'm gonna tell you every dirty little secret you need to know so you can get the women you want. All right, 10 points for guessing what was on offer when the good time gals of the 1950s asked if you wanted help blowing off some steam. Here's a hint. The name is stuck. That's right. We're taking a minute to discuss the humble BJ. More specifically, we're casting our glance on why many women have hang-ups about going down south. Don't get me wrong, many women enjoy giving a good BJ and satisfying a man, but there are little things you can do to help make her experience be almost as great as yours. Here's a breakdown of some of the most common hang-ups women have around giving a BJ and how to help or even eliminate them. What a gag. Chances are that uh, spluttering, jaw lock, coughing, and watery eyes aren't high on anyone's list of turn-ons. To avoid feeling like this, most women prefer a position when they can be on their knees and in control of intensity and speed. Make sure to let her be as comfortable as possible. If it's taking you forever, the longer she has to encounter issues with her jaw and breathing. So if this is a particularly sensitive point, she might like to change it up. Start with her hands and only move onto her mouth for a short period of time. Remember this, drinking means it'll take you much longer. So if you're going to be hard on the booth, you might want to skip out on a BJ. Spit or swallow isn't exactly the most romantic conversation, but it's one you probably should have and one you should have earlier than five minutes before the act. If you bring up these things once the ball is already rolling, it will only make her stressed out, self-conscious and uncomfortable. Remove the discussion from the pressure of the bedroom so you know how she feels about it before heading down south and you will avoid awkward, half-dressed and uncomfortable miscommunication. Freshening up. While some women aren't concerned with swallowing spunk, some do care what it tastes like. And while there's no hard evidence, no pun intended, eating kiwi, watermelon, celery, and pineapple is supposed to make semen taste lighter. Berries and fruits up your chances of a pleasant, even sugary experience. Stay clear of beer and coffee if you don't want a bitter taste, and dairy products, meat, and fish, whose high bacterial levels can lead to a foul aftertaste. Try drinking a fruit juice before you go out. Okay, so while we're on the subject of taste, it seems like it should go without saying, but just like she doesn't want her face in your armpit after you've gotten home from a run, she probably doesn't want to be going down on you if you haven't had a shower in a while. Watch where you're putting those hands. For a lot of women, blow jobs can be associated with a sense of powerlessness. And so when you're putting your hands on their heads and applying force, it can create a point of tension. You don't want an insecure, nervous woman with teeth going down on you, right? Bottom line, some women just don't like or want to give head and there can be some complicated and deep issues around it. So be sure to make the act as enjoyable for both of you. Remember, have a shower, drink mint and pineapple juice and tell your hands to behave themselves. For more tips on how to attract, date, seduce and get any woman that you want, go to winggirldatingtips.com or you can check out my other videos on askmen.com.